gentlemen, it's a great privilege and an honour to be here again in 2017 for this, the development final of this year's National Secondary Schools Championships. Bruce Pullman Park in Papakura, uh, the venue is in great nick, the ground is wonderful. A threat of rain, yes, and some heavy wind, but that will be more problematic for us in the commentary position than it will be for these young men representing their proud schools. Congratulations to both Hearts and Community Campus and the Marsalian College squad for making it through to the final. Eight teams in the development section, 16 in the top division, and this is the way they'll line out today. Uh, we are mindful that there's been a lot of jersey shuffling, so we'll get a groove on with them as we see them in action. Teaming up all Wado is the coach from Hearts. And these young guys came through, only 17 came up from Wotoitangi Christchurch, and they've been billeted out with cousins and friends, and they, uh, they all pay for their own airfares as well. So uh, a great effort and a late call by the Christchurch-based lads to come on up for the final. And one that'll please Monty Bethan, who's in the commentary position today too, is this Marcellin College team already spoken about uh, some of the barriers to getting rugby league in our secondary schools. But I'm very pleased to see Marcellin here, a very proud school. They've turned out some fabulous athletes, as we know. And this is their lineup, stacked full of big young lads, and some of them with a whole lot of class and style. Monty? Yeah, plenty of big boys indeed. I think there's a few names there you've got to look forward to, and that's Tavanga. Tanadel Vito Tavanga is the name to watch out for. And Emmanuel Tumulavi Gerard. He's the younger brother of Adam Tumulavi Gerard. He was uh, wonderful things for the Warriors over a number of years. Well, this is the first of two games that are coming to you live on Sky this afternoon, or it's this morning at the moment, but we'll be rolling into the afternoon, of course. On the left is the Hayata Community Campus, as mentioned. The morphing of what was Aranui High School. They had a, a proud tradition in sport as the two teams come together and acknowledge each other's efforts both teams lost one game are heading towards the final but a chance to cement the code and these two schools and of course from the Harta community uh, college they too have some exceptional players including one who's a south island scorpion player that's antonio lamalu he'll be playing in jersey number 13 today well, conditions at the moment certainly would favour Marcellin in the first half. But uh, what a milestone for the school uh, to get a rugby league team in the Nationals, Monty. Uh, it sure is. I mean, obviously, throughout the week, they wanted to make sure that they were in this competition. They wouldn't say take no for an answer. The school backed them in the end. The parents got behind them. And each day, they got progressively better. And they find themselves in the development final. So now it's a big opportunity for both these schools to put their name up in headlights. The and of course Richie Barnett will be with us in a moment too. The three of us on, very pleased to be here calling Hop the action. The ben Lama will be in soon. <laughs> We've got a little bit of a hold up as one of the uh, on, hard players is obviously stuff, carrying an injury. He's hobbling across the field <laughs> on crutches. This is the development final. You've got the action on Sky Sport Rally made in New Zealand and hard to almost come away with the football instead it's Marcelin who gets first touch on the football that's Vita Tavanga he's the man that everyone says to watch out for they've got some genuine size in there and of course if you're being led by the numbers on the backs uh, disregard them for a start this guy's in number one but he's won 20 kgs his name's Malo Martini he certainly is not the fullback. Oh, no doubt indeed. We saw that straight away when we saw them. They go to the shape. Nice shape down the blind side right now. Immediately you see these boys are very big and strong and play a great pace. But the win straight away from the kickoff from Hauta shows you how strong it is. And at the back of this mustard side. So Poissier plays the ball. It's fed on by Manuel And then across to Martini as well. A solid unit. He's to ground 10 metres out from the try line. There's a good chance to uh, get across the line early. This is to him of Ave Gerard, turns his attention across to the left-hand side and an easy try for Elijah Etoile. Etoile is in to score, about 20 metres to the left-hand side of the post, a top-class start for Marcelin. Oh, very good indeed. You mentioned class, Emmanuel to Mavavi Gerard, he has got plenty of it. I think he signed with the Warriors, he's on the books. We hear that he's very electric and that he can play in the full-back role. But for this side, he's playing at six. And look at it, he comes off the outside foot, comes back indeed, comes across. Nice little bit of evasion on the catch and pass there. It's Huali, Elijah Tawali gets the points on the board. The first ones for the side. Muscle College obviously rushing through there, eating some meters. You can just see that cast, casting down the, down the field and then cutting the angles and getting through at ease. Pretty, uh, pretty dominant start there from Marcelin College. 
Well, they've, they've seemed to have a, a size as an advantage, certainly the wind. And uh, it might just take a little while for this young team. And a number of them still year 10, actually. So uh, in the Hayata squad, to Mavavi Gerard with the responsibilities for the con conversion. So the number six, who is uh, on the Warriors books. Not quite sure what that means, though, nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Well, it means that he's a talented boy. And you can see it from the kick, the way, you know, kicking is by no means my expertise in terms of field of knowing stuff. But geez, he, he did that well. He used the win, got it through over the black dot. Now it's a big opportunity for Hayata to make sure they repel the first set defensively that Marcelin throw at them. Otherwise, it's going to be a long day in the office. You mentioned that strong win. I think that's at least a 12-point win, Richie. I totally agree. A low trajectory kick would probably be the kick, the style of kick you want at the moment. But in, fa in effect, that kick actually was Same could have reaped some again. rewards there with that high kick and the ball coming back. So This one again will set up in the wind. It's taken by Marcelin. Of course, a proud Catholic school here in Auckland. That ball might have slipped forward. They're suggesting it's gone backwards. Uh, the touchy says it was a, a knock-on. So this will be the first touch of the ball for Hata. Yeah, it's an important touch too. Down in Marston's territory. They're going to make sure that they return service. Fire a shot here. Every release takes some energy out of this Marston side who's rampant at the moment. They've had a big week. Very big, strong boys. And the ball in hand, they look very dangerous indeed. You know, it's a, a commentary on uh, New Zealand's history, really, that it's taken so long for some schools to come on board and allow the opportunity for their young students to uh, play different sports. Rugby's had the stranglehold, really, on the secondary school scene for so long. But it's, it's freeing up slowly, and uh, a wonderful example is right in front of us here with this Marcella College team making the final of its first head out here. And now 20 metres out comes Hayata, this is Penny Junior Ivar, wrapped up in the tackle of Faltongia, and he'll play the ball only eight metres out from the try line. A darting run from Dummy Half comes close this time. The tackle is made by the try score, Etuale. But the marker was never square, so hard to get uh, a, a penalty. I'll back it up, team. When you're ready. Hold Leo, Leo Patello takes the tap and onto a Siane. On the line, on the line. Kuri, they Kuri. So on there. Now the big man has a go for the line and the wall of Marcelo College defenders to repel him at the last moment. Dummy half work here is for Lamalu. They'll shuffle it wide and a drop off ball on the inside again. Threatening, but Vito Tavanga is there to make the tackle solidly as well for Marcelo. They started this game very well. Swine again with the ball, but it's been lost. First one off here. And the knock the on first up there. with the attacking team. Here, it's some nice work from Hayata early on. They got, they fired the shot there, what I was talking about. But Marston just showing that they're not just a team that likes to carry the ball. They can tr transition into defence and do a wonderful job. Some very strong direct runners. They were met by a number of Marston defenders. So far, very good for this Marston side. And also good for Ayata and what they did with the ball in hand. Unlucky not to get a better result. Good to see a couple of ex Kiwis here as well, greeted at the gate and uh, doing Māori Warden's work. For the Kiwi Nick Wright, who welcomed us into the uh, venue today. And of course, uh, Richie Blackmore as well, who's just got his ticket as a player agent. So he's out there having a decent look at some of our young talent, as Tavita Poise uh, plays the ball for Manuel, who steers it right, tackles made on. Angelo Gabriel. You're holding him in there. 30 metres out. Where'd you go to school, Richie? I went to Edgewater College. They didn't have a league team either. Uh, they did. Actually, at the end of my term, they did. we did have a league, league team. And, of course, Monty, you had to uh, carve your path in sport, but uh, not via school, I, 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 I suspect. What's that? I say you had to carve your way in yes. sport, but uh, not via your school. Oh, look, Marston College had a league team. I think we were one of the, the first ones uh, we played, and, and we got our pants pulled down by a very good um, Orewa High, and then we played St. Paul's. But 
over the years, you know, the likes of Rora Satasi, uh, Sam Moa, uh, some guys that have, have played and gone on to do wonderful things that come through the school system themselves. Arna Wilson, who's, who's up there at the moment, may he rest in peace. He was another strong player of early age and great prominence. But it's great for all these kids from different schools to get their chance to, to be on TV, Dale, and, and to showcase their skills, no matter if rugby league is their first or second code of choice. Thank you, mate. Fair call. I see Albert Vetti down there as well as working with Marcelo. He's a lovely young guy, Albert. And, uh, pleased to see him still in the Warriors colours as well, going into 2018. Should, uh, the hands should be strengthened with the latest couple of signings, and good luck to Stephen Kearney. It's been a tough old year for the Warriors. Back to the action. Manuel pushes the ball across to the right-hand side. Little pop pass late, and the young hooker gets hold of it again. And his way forward about another 10 metres to the 30, darting run from... The number six to Navarro Gerard. He's away for one. Make that two. Stack full of class. And in for try number two. That is class. No doubt about it. Yes, Master College don't have a lot of players that have this as their number one coat. More predominantly rugby. But that kid, he's got rugby league stamped all over him. To Navarro Gerard. He knew what he was doing. His speed. His options. Summing it up. Carving through defenders. The ball bounced up a treat. And he's there. He puts the ball down. Maybe he backed the skills too much because he went for the corner rather than close it to the post, Rich. Well, I tell you what, Ma Marlo Martini, the big prop charging through, created that ruck speed, and of course, the experience of Emmanuel Tumavavijira had to come through and, and recognise there was plenty of space behind to, to, to yield the results off that, that big run from that prop. Exciting stuff from Arsenal. And exciting stuff from uh, the man who shares that very prominent uh, league name. Of of course, uh, Adam now playing his footy across the Tasman. Whereabouts is he? I think he's at Wyndham Manly. He's playing over in the Queensland uh, Cup competition, which is a great competition we've seen over the years. I spent uh, a year there playing in and out when I was at the Warriors with uh, Brisbane Souths. It is a very good competition indeed. He went to St George early on, didn't he, when he, when he left our shores? Yeah. I think uh, Adam. So here is his younger brother, Emmanuel, converting his own try. It'd be a good one if he's able to, to slot this. Hits it with some gusto oh. and over the flags. That's why he went to the corner. He knew and that he could kick the goal. He knew he had that ability. Richie, now what do you say to your team, Hayata, now? You know, they find themselves down on the scoreboard into a strong win. I think just play football, to be honest. I think it's going to be difficult for them to challenge a team that's got size and got the win behind them. If they do get in good position once, they need to capitalise on it. They need to score points. And I think there's, there's a, an area where their game, they can isolate the bigger players too and, and use speed and agility to break through. Well, they had a couple of opportunities close to the line uh, a few moments ago. They didn't come away with points. There may be few and far between. Difficult conditions, very windy. Good crowd on hand. And this one sits up in the wind as well. Poese takes the ball and moves infield just a couple of metres. He's wrapped up on the 30 metre line. This is Pio. Pio Toleo. He's just come on. Penny on the bench. Not so thin on the numbers uh, for the visitors from Christchurch. It's Frau Dunia. He's a, a lump of a lad, too. Plays the ball on the halfway line. To the right-hand side, they weave now. Vito Tavanga gets the offload on the far side. Ten in from touch, which would be the western touch line here. Field running north-south. So five, and need for Hayato. Community campus to work hard as Tuin Mavavi Gerard gets the kick and it'll be too big. Yeah, a little bit strong. Of course, the wind is on his side. Now it's an opportunity for Master to see if they can keep Hayata pinned in their own end. It was only 25 minute halves. It's not a long time, but they've been playing all week, these uh, young boys. Even though they're full of energy and quite fit, it does get tiring, it does build up. And I think it's going to show in the, in the later minutes of each half. Well, they just need a little bit of a spark here, Richie Barnett, don't they, the, uh, the young guys? Get a, a glimpse. 
It's just interesting how they psychologically can get themselves back into the game, you know, after scoring quick points, 12 points in 12 minutes. Tempo is vitally important for this team. Ayata. Tibido Matele working hard. The runner is Siwane. This is a good attitude on show. It's you and you. So that's a bit of a leg up here the line, for the visitors. Great run by Ailolo. Fantastic here. run. On the line. Going straight through the middle here. Decisive, strong. He went through defenders, unlucky towards the end. Probably wants to make sure he carries that ball a bit stronger. More onus on himself. Exactly what Hayata needed. Their bookings have been very impressive, haven't they? They certainly lay the platform. It's what happens after the kick. Clearly that wind is damaging. Well, that's one of the strangest kicks I've seen in the history of the world. That one went backwards. But it's a very stiff wind that Hayata are up against. Because they used to have a sports academy at Abadini High School, seemingly not with this configuration. Well, welcome to Sky for those of you viewing in the Garden City at the moment. Well, you can see that Alvin Verdi's had a saying on what happens with this Master College side. The line speed is good, they're having a go. They seem to really know the little nuances of the game, even though they don't really play it week in, week out. Plenty of energy from the Master side. There's a bit of enthusiasm as well from the big prop forward who takes it forward. Ailolo. He's been great. He's been very good. And now the black and whites work from centre field. Cut down as Sian has been very busy. He's only five metres out from the try line. This is the best chance they've had. The grubber kick into the end goal. Bounces kindly for Marcelin. And uh, they'll have the first tackle. Hold. Well, oh, how good has he been? He's really tried to get his side back in this competition. It's been great. The last 10 minutes on, on his shoulders has been quite damaging. If they're using some of their big men as battering rounds. This is a good solid carry as well. But peeling away with the meters. That's a, a bit of a mistake. But the first from Marcel has taken a while too. 14 minutes in. Scrum to be set here 35 meters out. That was a shame. It was a, try line. it was a clever little run. Beautiful bit of work. He went in and went out. It was manual. It's a wonderful job to bamboozle some defenders to try to pass the ball off at the end. Unfortunately, not able to hold position. Another opportunity now for Hayata. I, I guess the interesting thing with when you get points so easily and the game seems so easy is that there's no turn-off button. You just play football and you drop off and it provides an opportunity for the other side to come back into the game. So they've got to be very wary of that, Marcelin College. It's on 10, it's on 10. Another good opportunity for the boys from, from Black and White. This Haita Community Campus only opened uh, in February of this year. It was actually the merging of four schools, the other new primary. Wait Avondale Primary, why not a school at Avondale High hold. School? Hold. So just under a thousand students as well. The first time putting together a rugby league team here at the Nationals under uh, the Heart of Community Campus name. The busiest of their forwards has been Sione. He's close to the line too. Dummy half work for Lamalu. Angled run. Here's the big man spinning towards the line. Ay Lolo has been very effective. Little pop pass and a chance out the left hand side. White line fever for the runner. And a swinging arm there. As the 18 Leo Patello gets up to play the ball. About five minutes, he can go back as far as he likes. Make the line, boys, make the line. You've got to have one foot on their line. Hasn't the fight back from Hayat have been awesome? It's been great into the win. They've been tired. It's a young side from what I'm here, hearing. But uh, they're making sure they stay in this competition. They're well in it too. 12 points of difference, but with that win, I think it's probably worth at least 10. Well, they could have still on there. has been very impressive. He continues to work hard, but made a mistake there. Uh, so, please, that 12 0, 16 gone here in the final. This is the development section, the National Rugby League Secondary Schools Tournament.
this young fella's had a really fine game too and just a mistake but at yeah, least I he has hand out and yeah, he's keeping the options I think open. you put the marker on him the commentator's cursed just as you read them up he tried to do a little bit too much nothing wrong with what he was trying to do it's just the execution there was a poor grip on the ball unfortunately love the way he's trying to present the ball and get that second phase going well that runaway try to start us off and then turn with other Gerard's ankle run has given them a 12 point lead the latter and a poor play of the ball hey you're facing the wrong way brother and you're not controlling it well tongue out put it tongue out when he runs he looks so gifted he looks so balanced as a number of these players do bit of a shame he lost possession now if you think about Marston what they've done in the last sort of 10 minutes it has been bad a lot of unforced errors a lot of errors they could do without not good well, big two there Beasley is at the back of the scrum two hands are fallen it's being fed here by Leo Patello down the short side they go this is Gustola with the ball jersey number three are, are two meters from the try line wind up time for Ailolo <laughs> 10 meters out from the try line higher to their best chance of the afternoon Taking it forward, Penny Junior Ivar. No right in front of the posts. Patello. And he's cut down. Good line, D, at the moment from Marcel. Can they hold out too? Tony Beasley has a go for the line, and Beasley is shunned at the last moment to Marcel and wall up. And the gold and blue. Keep on a new at bay and a knock on for the visitors to Tamaki. And the scrum feed here for Marcel and College. Wow. Hi, Arta. They had a number of opportunities to score some points. First, they came inside. They had numbers out to the right, taking some of the, the selfish plays. Once again, opportunities missed. But you can't fault the effort from the Hayata side and what they're trying to do. And of course, if they're keeping them at this end of the field, they can't take advantage of that wind. Marston College. Head through him, boys, head through him. The knock on from Marcelin. So it is Patello who Out. feeds and Limalu takes it from the scrum base. Here is an opportunity over the top. It's a beauty. Does it drift forward? No, it doesn't. And there is your try scorer. It's the number nine, Tipani Corey, who is into score for Hayata. They played really well in the last 10 minutes. Well, that's going to give them some confidence. There has been opportunities on either side of the field. They have had their numbers, but they haven't been able to use it. They haven't been looking up and seeing the space and trying to move the ball to the space. Nice little play off the scrum. Bit of work there, indeed. He came across as three defenders. A little bit of fit there pass, but still. To Benny Corey. Well done, mate. You brought this side back into the game. Hayato is back with their points. Lelua, the pass looked a bit forward, but I like the style of football they're playing. They need to get to the edges of it. I find through the middle they're going through the middle too often where the prize money is on the edges, and they exploited that very nicely against Marcelin. They've had a fair share of the ball. Mistakes from Mar Marcelin has welcomed them in the game. You can see the wind causing havoc with the ball alone. I'm sure there'll be a player coming back to hold that ball for him. You'd hope so, Rich, and apologies to it. was Tommy Keelan who scored the try in Jersey 5. Our first glimpse at these lads as well. And that one is waved away. But there he is, Tommy Keelan. On the left edge for Hayata. 12-4. There you go, shout out to the game. Hey, bit of multitasking. Watch the game you love and also tell hello to the person you love, which is mum. Nice to see. Yeah, true. Sometimes they say silly things, but that guy didn't. Kept it uh, seemly. And good on it. So good young people here, of course. Just waiting for a ball now. And of course, uh, stick around because we've got another fine game, a repeat of last year's grand final, Southern Cross Campus, lining up against the West Aucklanders, Kelston Boys High School in the final of the championship raid. It's to Mavavi Gerard with the restart. It goes deep, could be problematic, but the bounce is kind for Hayata. The return with a bit of attitude to, to the 20 metre line. Darting little run, courageous too. The tackler is Etuale. 
Yeah. Scored the first of our tries after just one minute. Sio Annette, one of the busiest here for coach Dibingalo Wado. David Ryan is overseeing the Marcelli squad. And that check is taken nicely and then working away through the middle. Kenny Jimmy Vow makes the tackle. Now it's Justin Manuel. By the halfway. And Ali Mason to the 40. Tavanga offloads. 30 metres out from the trial. Lama Salins is starting to, to build some momentum here. As Tumavave Gerard does well to find Etuale again. Keeps the ball alive. Double around. Tumavave Gerard looks to be the threat. A, a diving effort could be considered somewhat dangerous as Beasley. This is Talio. Across now to Poise. He grabs kicks to the end goal, but the wind will not assist him. In fact, detracts from his chances. Well, that's a shame. When your kicking man gets tackled on the fifth tackle, you can't do a hell of a lot. You know, need to find the other half, or maybe from dummy half, got a kick. Not sure that Poise is the guy to be doing that, although he had a nice little attempt at it. It's close, but that wind is strong once again. Big defensive set here needed from Master College. What have they got? 12-4, 23 gone. Pretty courageous efforts on show here, uh, Richie. It's been a fairly good result, really, isn't it, for High Arts, so to be in this position with the wind, and they're struggling to get up that field, but they're getting to the kick, which is pleasing. And this, this type of effort here with the footwork will be pleasing to their coach at the moment. And a penalty to boot. Very much so, Desmond. Yeah, Lua is uh, wrapped up. Then probably their most experienced, as I say, from the South Island Scorpions is Antonio Lamalu. Running in 13. Multicultural look about the jerseys. Two is Jinzu Moon. That's him with the football now as he shuffles it in 10 metres to the back row. Lamalu. So important last minute coming up here to make all the difference in this game if Hoyata are able to get some points. Suane has been one of the standouts today. He's had a good game as well as Sua Aloilo. 20 metres from the line. Can Hayata put one together here to wrap up the first half again? Nakuri Suane. He's had a gutsy first 25 minutes here for his squad. And this is the man who's caused no end of problems with his surging runs. Ay Lolo probably deserved a better fate on that carry too because it went with a ton of attitude and gusto. The ball's gone out wide and Marcelin will reap the benefits as it's picked up. The referee says play on his Boise. It's driven towards the touchline. He'll take the tackle now. Here we are, boys. Here we are. Not, not, not long left in the first half of action, but you'd have to give some credit here to the young Hayata community campus players. Very impressive. Try after the first and eighth minutes for 12 0, and then came back in the 17th minute with a try to Keelan. As we see, Tunavave Gerard, he's caused no end of problems. He punches the ball back. The half volley pickups by Manson. They'll keep it alive on the far side of the field through Ironside. And then Ironside, a cut out ball on the far side that now goes a cropper. And we'll wrap up that first half. Hope you're enjoying the action here from the development section of the National Secondary Schools Championships at the halftime break. Marcellin College leads 12 4. Good, play, good players, man. We want you to do something.
Who's your player of the day, Rich? Depends who wins, eh? Yeah, I, I really like the for, it's awesome, eh, man? Well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, it didn't take too long for Tilman Vavi Gerard to show his worth. Instrumental in both prizes scored by Marcel and Collins. They enjoy a 12 to 4 lead. And that was the first of them. Uh, the number 12 crossing to score the try there. Elijah Etuali. This was a wonderful effort too by Tuma Vave Gerard. Converting it from out wide, but he just sort of glides across the field, doesn't he? Just classy, isn't he? Uh, his speed, his vision, knowing what to do, and the confidence to put the ball down in the corner, knowing he was going to kick it from the sideline. He got the kick too, Dale. Well, Hyatt uh, bounced back with the try to Keelan. A bit of a speculator over the top here. Thought it might have drifted forward, but the wind. Of course, coming back at the heart of campus, had it floating nicely and into score. There was Tama Keelan. As we're just about to get underway, I want to remind you too, uh, coming up after this game, we'll be having the main game final. And congratulations to Southern Cross Campus and also uh, to the boys from out west, Kelston Boys High School in the final, yet again, a repeat of last year's grand final. And of course, the National Premiership for New Zealand Rugby League gets underway next week as well. Sky carrying those games. This is the game that will follow. 12-4 is the scoreline as we await the signal to get underway here. Great to have you along on Sky here this afternoon. With some standout performances here for Hayata. In particular, particularly impressed by Suwane. And also uh, Lamalu, who has been very busy today. The big number eight. Hey, Lolo, perhaps one of the standouts is a little blue here. Well, you did it again, mate. You jinxed him <laughs> once again. You wrapped him up and he dropped the ball, but he's been outstanding. You can't take that away from him. Both Hey, Lolo, and that man's been good indeed. But now it's Marcel's chance. You think if you've got the wind at your back, you just play down the right end of the field, you kick. Obviously, these guys need to score some points. Look at that. Ololo, he's been good all week. Definitely good today in their first half. See what Master can do. Look at uh, Tavanga's uh, foot in there, causing some problems too. Out wide, this is Alania Mason. And now to Poese on the left edge. Played strong, wrapped up by Zinzu Moon. Javan Mamiya. He comes close. To Mavavi, Gerard floats it wide for Tavanga. He is hard to stop. Tavanga towards the line and he reaches out and scores. So early tries in both halves now for Marcelo. Making life difficult against the wind as well, Monty. Well, they said Tavanga was one to watch out for. Not many noted rugby league players in this Master College side, but the ones that can play, they chime in and they make their presence felt. Very good indeed, that man. What he did. You see, they came out the back door then. Look at that. He just throws the little dummy. He's still got two or three to carry over. Vito Tavanga, some wonderful work indeed. Look at that. Cross still going, refusing to give up, and he scores the try. Off the back of a mistake. They were able to capitalise and go into the edges, I think, with speed and the agility of some of these players was on show there. Vito Tavanga showing he's got 
the capability. Nice right foot step, fend. Good determined run to the line. Very good start for Marcelin. Monty is certainly happy about that with the big smile. <laughs> nice nice little, little hat on. I don't think he'd be too happy too because there's some rumour he's going to have to shout lunch if they win. Oh, oh look, I was smiling nice. about uh, that man Betsy coming on the field as a water boy, giving the chance for these guys to, to not only have his expertise as a coach but also to be the water boy and hand them over some H2O so they can stay hydrated. But we saw in the first half, Hayata and how strong they were to the win. They've got to realise they got the win, maybe kick some 40 20s or maybe just kick early, go down the other end of the field because I know they can score some points. Well, back there at Royal Lake, they'll be pretty pleased about it. Home of Marcelo College. That's has been on that site for a long, long time. As we see, they're making inroads again. They're playing into a stiff breeze, which Monty Beetham reckons is about 12 points in it. It's still in the one's game, and there's a shunting run by Fiat Bongia, his brother Pony. As well, with a similar build, three and four respectively, to Mavave Gerard gets it on the far side, and now Martini. Malo, sort of a scrappy play the ball, and noted by the referee as well. Was it malicious? He found himself in the wrong end of the play of the ball. Master now got to realise that uh, although they're making great inroads individually, they should look to maybe promote the ball a little bit more. Or even just show to the outside runners if they push up, it could be the, the key and maybe put this team to bed a little bit earlier. Fautonga, another powerful carry from him to the 30 metres. A little knock on too as he gets up to play the ball, so something leaning in Hyatt's favour. As mentioned, uh, Rich only came up with 17 young guys, and so there have been a couple of injuries making it a bit tough on their interchange bench. It certainly has, and I just felt felt that that mistake was probably the right time for uh no, at the moment you know they, they are against it they have a penalty the win coming up with some mistakes and they just needed to to find that rhythm again and, and play down the opposition's field at the moment two hands half two hands be smart in how they play use that win factor a few of their young guys are just going to have to stand up this is uh jordan sunny go one Feeling away to the left hand yeah. side. Yeah. Top knots are plenty out there today. Hold, go to. Little shuffle on the Malu. Sua, the Malu, short side. Little the slip the there, the tackle by Harlem Ironside. And the tackle made there on Beasley. No, you've, you've lost the boys. A little mistakes aren't helping the higher to cause at the moment. There's been a lot of mistakes really from both sides. In situations where you wouldn't expect it. Like we said, these boys have been playing hard every day this week. It's been a, a wonderful tournament put on by New Zealand Rugby League. Many people have commented about how these boys just had to turn up and enjoy playing the, the game they love. Wonderful facilities, well put on tournament. And some great talent that we're seeing out there on display today. This yeah, yeah. final, the development final is no different. You're not wrong, and uh, of course, the focus of the week's events to not all rugby league. On the far side, another strong effort by Poese. Well, Poese, maybe he thought he was playing rugby union. It was, a, it was only the first tackle, son. You made a break. Just come in field, play the ball. Go down, yeah, indeed. You know, there's a focus on anti violence, there's a focus on tertiary study on health and nutrition. These are all sides that have been promoted through the course of the secondary schools nationals. Let's another look at uh, Poesia. It's the second time he's kicked, isn't he? So I think he realised once he kicked it that he's playing the wrong code. It's actually rugby league. But still, you know, that's what I like about this side. Predominantly rugby players having a go, refusing to say they're not going to play rugby league, playing in rugby uniforms and doing a fine job of playing the game of rugby league. It's going along nicely too. Congratulations to all concerned to the team here. This is Jordan Saliupolu. And, uh, he gets wrapped up. Lamalu on the right side and again. Sarnet just short of the halfway for the second rower. Little shuffle on. Ironside with the tackle. 
go for. Yeah, back. Hey, back now, looking to use the wind, which is sensible. He kicks well read. Two with the right winger. Well, I'm liking a lot. This is attitude. This is Fina Uha Paunga. Oh, nice run from Paunga. He did really well to take the ball on his chest. He brings it back. Fine, boys. I'll take the cap. Hard and straight. Very good. And then he fights to play the ball. That's what you want. Just hold that mark with the ball, please, boys. To Mavali Gerard in the mountain. Boys, both teams. Both teams are infringing, eh? especially when we're in their red zone. Watching the tackling, hands away from the ruck. I just want to clean the whole game up. Hey? Yeah, no, nah, that was that was high, brother. Yeah, you just got to keep these tackles lower. All right, same for your team, all right? Look at it. Great take, still one hand carry, but still he comes back with great vigor and he fights to play the ball. That's what I like about it the most because then he gets the penalty. Pung up, but impressed by his work on the right edge here for Marcelin. Lamalu, the captain. There's the number 13 playing in the hooking position, really, though. As we see Marcelo with the ball on the 30 meter line, line and iron side. Shuts his way forward to the 20. Hold! Go, one. 18 out. Dongia. It's been good today, as foul Dongia. Release now! Here you are, hold. 10 meters from the try line. Dummy half work for Justin Manuel across the. Left hand side to Tuim of Avi Gerard looking dangerous here. And Poesa just had to take the ball, and it would have been a try. And unfortunately for Marcelin. Well, the last two touches for Poesa haven't been the best. He's not happy. He's hiding amongst it here that he's got there. Hiding Try amongst it here. I think yeah, that's the issue. Well, he's not that's trying to get issue. it out of his eyes, he's, he's trying to cover up. If he Maybe that's it. a problem. Maybe if he had a, a, a number one or zero all over, he'd actually see the ball. But he is a wonderful talent. We've been seeing him early on in this game. No doubt about it, Boise. When your team is up ahead like that, fine to have those moments. That's pretty creative play, really, isn't it? Getting on the edges, they're moving that ball, shifting that ball nicely to the edges and creating. They're just not completing them, icing it. Elijah Brennan manhandled there by Vito Tevanga. Off the ball. As mentioned, comes with some pretty good reps as well, Vito. Sharks interested in him. This man's been very good today. Hey, Lolo, and he gets up, mistake three, play the ball. So often with young players, they'll do something good and then get themselves down with a poor play of the ball. Well, there's an example with a decent run, but then a lost ball on the back end of it. Well, a no wonderful work out of dummy half. Once again, struggling on to hold on to the ball. Uh, first one's off, off black, second one's off yellow. So we're scrumming it here, boys. Muscle and ball. So Marcelo get the scrum feed. This side, half this side. Look at that nice little show and go up through the middle. Did everything right, so slippery through right. tackles, but unfortunately Both the ball dislodged. Two hands half when you're ready. Marcelin with the football to Mavave Gerard, the most threatening of the the back line. The inside back is put to ground. You are hold, hold, go. One. Forty out. You made it now. Manuel shuffles hold. across to the left hand side. The ball is kept alive out there to Ale. Bangs his way through one. Stand and now. Falling on, hold. away and back hold. play to limited numbers. For Hayata, here's Poesia trying to make good. Poesia is good, and Poesia too good. Good run from Poesia. Tavita Poesia, third time lucky. First touch in this half, he kicked the ball dead on the first tackle. Second one, probably not as pleasing too, but then he just showed what skill set he does have. Nice bit of work. Chelsea run for the gaps there, and he still has to get through three defenders. Nice little palm off. Wonderful work by the man with plenty of hair, Rich. Forget about the hair, he said. Watch what I can do on the paddock. Great right foot step. Deviated across the field. Straightened up and there he goes. Poesi making up for a couple of the mistakes. Putting the points on the board. 22-4. Marcelin College are yielding the results from a few mistakes from Haita. 22 to 4 with the kick to come. 
It's been a good showing here from Marcelin College. You get the feeling they wouldn't be too out of uh, out of their depth too if they did step up into the Open Championship. At the moment, they're just uh, finding their feet. Development grade is very good for that. You see uh, some replacements being made. And the flags are up to him of Arvid Gerard showing his class. 37 minutes gone, it's 24 to 4. Here we go, there's the man himself coaching Marston College, Albert Vetti, minus the broken arm, big smiles, done some wonderful things with this group of men. You know, most people would have the off season and do what they need to do to, to have some fun or relax, but not him. He's been down at Marston College in Royal Lake, helping out. Doing some wonderful things. Hayata needs a mention too. I think they'd be good in the development grade. There's not a lot of difference between getting the result. I think the effort's been valiant today indeed. It's great to see LB there. He's a popular young guy and uh, certainly his attitude in the Warriors jersey has uh, excited many. Looking forward to seeing what uh, we get from him in 2018 too. Well, a windy old day, as you probably can hear at times drifting through the microphone. A mistake behind the line. Ah, which, he, was a, he was in goal every day. Which my selling underneath the crossbar. Well, Rich, what do they do now? I answer, where do they attack? What should they do in terms of trying some strategy at Marston? Well, I think patience is certainly one of those areas that they need to learn, but I think not running straight through the middle to the strengths of Marston College, I think play the edges and just be a bit, little bit patient. Build that pressure. Isaiah Frost with the football and it almost come a cropper for him as well. Working hard to Vanga, enhancing his reputation, which is already good. And that ball just slightly behind. One of the best today too for Hayata. But perhaps running a little out of steam at the moment, eh, Lolo? Just come back here, gentlemen. Be disappointed, his attitude has been great. But, uh, just a couple of knock-ons. As we watch the scrum, ten more, ten more minutes, set, that minutes. Wind has picked up, hasn't it? Drag the sun out, drag the sun out, please. Thank you. Hit it. Ball and half, two hits. Out! One of the good things, I guess, fellas, is that the rain has stayed away. There was a threatening crowd. I like the look of this guy. It's out on here. He's been really good today. Go, one. Plenty of numbers to Mavave Gerard. Now Martini again, always threatening the big man. 35 metres out from the try line. Manuel's given good distribution today, and to Mavavi Gerard has been really the standout. He's been the go to man. Pops a pass out late. Higher to come up with the ball. He did it again, Dale. He did it again. He gave him a rap. He handed over possession. I'm going to stop giving anyone a rap. Except you, Monty. Here you are. Hold. Hold. As the, uh, the CEO of the Masterman College <laughs> Advocacy Group. <laughs> to tell you what, as an old boy, though, I've been uh, very proud of what Masterman College has done. Also, a fan of rugby league, in particular, also high arts and what they've done. They put on a good display. Both schools are not renowned for their rugby league. I know high arts has come from also Aranui College, who've had some great success in the national comp. They played in good spirits this game. Yeah, it certainly has uh, that. And another little mistake has gone backwards, though. Says OK, and Manson gets the ball. The chase from Tom McKeelan, who scored the only try so far for Hayata. You cannot attack the face of a player. Attacking the face of a player. It's a penalty well, Joseph Parker did go to Master College. He is the heavyweight champion of the world. Maybe this young man... Was to uh, you know dabble over in another code which could be boxing, but geez, very good. Now, Hayata, let's see what they've got. Well, you hope that uh, Marston College has been responsible for the the, the um, proud way that Joe Parker carries himself. So, when you're ready, 30, when you're ready. Not, not a guy who's big headed, humble man, and uh, I'm sure a lot of that can come down to the school's efforts and his development on the line, boys. So now Hayata with a good opportunity here to get across the line. Lamalu is calling for his troops to muscle up. 
There's the inside ball. We'll get across the line, but I don't think the ball will get to ground. And we great defence from Marcelo on the line. Time. Just Again, I get what they're trying to do with the double in, in, inside ball, but I think when you work to the 60 and then you got options left and right, it would be a lot better option. And it really makes you nervous when you go to the edge. Players defending, defending the line. Footwork, that's better. Get Look. some darting guys around, some guys with pace. And Lamalu could be the man for that. The other to have a go is this man who's been working hard. Showing that. Go. I desperately want to get across the well, line. They did well. some payback for their efforts. Nice intercept as well. And then driven across well, the touchline. It's Marcelo's number five. Into the player in the front. It's going to be a scrum yeah, out here. I think Hayata, what they need to do is they go to an yeah, edge. They need to keep way, going the same way again. Way. They need to play the ball way. a bit faster. They'll get them on the keep going. He's always come back against the grain where the Marston boys are, and there's plenty of them. If they play the same way and play shot after shot and pace, I think they'll get some more joy. Zaire Frost. Ready? He's getting themselves into position, Hayata. Need an extra in there. Leo Patello will feed the scrum here. Hayata on the 10 metre line. They'll have a set at their disposal. Across it goes to Desmond. Yeah, Lua. Pete, pulled to ground by a toilet. Lamalu, across, across, holding up, holding up, darting, probing. And then Tuma Vave Gerard comes across, and Lamalu's clever. This time around, outfoxed by Tuma Vave Gerard. He read his mind. He was always going. Ailolo gets over the line, and this time. Short three! Good call on the run, too, by the referee, and an accurate. An accurate read as the play ball's play. kept alive. Now that's been touched, has it, by No, we played Sally. it again, boys. Played it again. I've been joining the referee's work here well, today. It's been good. So has the uh, entertainment we've seen in front of us. I think Hayata once again coming against the grain. They need to keep going the same way. And maybe the first person having the, the early shot, rather than try and take that extra yard, just go down and play the ball quickly sacrifice our play for the next one and i think they'll get some more joy but this is the development grade the effort's been there we have seen some individual brilliance from both sides Out. now it's another chance for hayata five to play Elua. and now it's uh, good deep put on two Go. by Tavita Go. 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 this looks promising Release Towards the line goes Yalua. Go, go down the short side looking for oh. some favour, and it's the smallest man on the field, Elijah Brennan, who is in to score for Hayata. Finally across with four and a half to play, 24 8 with the kick to come. Well, we said that. We said play the same way, stretch them a little bit more, don't go back against the grain where you're going to find the, the defensive players that are just staying there and not coming across the cover. Some great work. They had this capability all day. They've tried hard. And maybe they'll learn from this and maybe it's not too late. Nice try. As mentioned, some of these guys are only out of uh, year 10. It's uh, in our old days, full form. So, you know, he's uh, one of the smaller guys, Elijah. And congratulations to him getting across as we see the clouds across Bruce Pullman Park. It's a wonderful facility for rugby league. There are about it. Um, Oh, it must be eight or ten fields here, so they make good use of them for a tournament like this. A difficult conversion. Some help from the wind. A little askew as well. There's your try scorer, Elijah Brennan, making seven. A little bit of a dummy and some attitude close to the line as well, Richard. Yeah, it's just the flow, isn't it? The flow of the game and using speed. Monty mentioned it before about playing with speed. When you've got uh, a bit of momentum on your side, play the ball quick. You've got a retreating defence or a scattered defence, and you really can capitalise on with, with speed around the ruck. That's exactly what would happen. Here's the restart. Well, well, well. Tumafave Gerard showing some class on the far side of the field. With the take as well. Elijah Twilight. 
Working hard. 24 to 8. It's been a dominant performance here by Marcelo. Four tries to two. It's one they're scoring early in the game. One minute into him, Mavavi Gerard. Showing his class and uh, another mistake here too from Hata. Tavanga scored seven minutes into the second half to make it 18 4, and then Puesi. Come six or seven boss. minutes later, so a little bit of a hiding there. Brennan is the lady scoring. That pass. Oh, Beasley did some great stuff out of dummy half. He came on the unders line. Hey, Loi Loi he had to follow him on the unders line. He didn't. So that way that pass went to ground. Two heads half forward. Half, half. Hang on. Stay there. Two heads off. Tavanga feeds, taken from the back by Mata Elliott, short side, to Mavave Gerard. Ten, Lockin! Spinning in the tackle. Inside the 40, an outstanding game. Tongia, Fiao Tongia, he's been great too today. Wrapped up by Shinzu Mun. He's been very good too, working hard on the right side. He'll have to work even harder here, because that's where the pressure is. To Mavave Gerard, to Poese. And uh, all as well on the far side for the try scores. Marcelin get across the line with the last of the try scorers. Oh, it was a great try. Poes has shuffled it along on the far side. Poes has been good. Been very good. Some nice bit of ball movement from the side. You mentioned this kid, he was been outstanding. Fiel Tongia, he and his brother, fine athletes, no doubt about it. You see, they come down the short side. There's Poese, there it is. Man in the headgear. Wonderful bit of work to score in the corner. It's the shortest of short sides as well. Not sure if it's uh, Leo or Justin. One of the two, both similar stature. There he goes, that's the man there, Justin Manuel. He is the hooker who plays on the edge the middle but then he found himself on the wing so to Mavava Gerard with the kick this will be a, a tougher assignment for him we think it is the seven it's Leo yeah, Fall. must be Leo Fall. to Mavava Gerard to wide out he's been good I'll take this one away from him. Oh, he's well. good. Oh, you're kidding. Me. He's really good. But I think the credit for the try has to go to number seven, Leo Fu. Very good as the Marston onlookers have got plenty to cheer about. And there is full time, and there is the title. And the title of 30 points to eight, and a wonderful victory for Marcelin. And uh, Monty, congratulations, mate. This is a, quite a milestone for the, for the school, and a great day for the young men from Muslim College. Yeah, well, the motto is Optima Kawari. It means seek the best. And that's something we've uh, known and spoken about for a number of years. But the credit has to go to these young men who fought to play the great game of rugby league that they love. Troy Ironside was part of the parenting staff that helped this team get across. He got those nice hoodies for the boys and Albert Vets and everyone else being a monster. Fine bit of work, fine support from the school in the end. Great to see. Great to see as well. Harlem Ironside as well, worked hard out there. Uh, the best of them, Emmanuel Tumavave Gerard. But the winners here of the development section at the National Secondary Schools Championships in Papakuna, Marcelin College, winning 30 points to eight over higher to campus. Well, we'll be going down now to Richie Barnett, who's with the captain of the successful team, uh, Tumavave Gerard. Emmanuel, congratulations. How does it feel to win this development competition? Oh, I'm just lost of words right now, eh? Being the wild card in this tournament, placing our mark in this tournament, you know, feels good to win. Our school's not really known out there, so it's pretty good to put our name out there now, eh? Yeah. So there's been a lot of faith through the week. You've had Albert Vetti helping you out. How much support has he had for you guys? Uh, he's been a big help for us. Um, he's, he's taught us a lot in the past few weeks at training, so um, yeah, he's been a big help. You went in there 12-4 at half time to, to now win the game 30-8. Pretty outstanding stuff for a school that really predominantly rugby. Yeah, um, we have a lot of league boys at our school, but yeah, our school is a rugby school, but 
we really wanted this league team to go through. So, yeah, we've, we're just happy t to get the win. Well, all the best. Congratulations on Marsland College. The first win for 2017. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Emmanuel Dumavave Girardi had a great game personally and his team. They too worked hard for the victory. Congratulations to them. 12 4 leaders at half time, 30 points to wait against Hyatt's at campus out of Christchurch. Well, coming up, we'll get some post match reviews from the coach of the Marcellin College team, uh, David Ryan. And also, coming up in 10 minutes, Kelston line up against Southern Cross in the grand final of the National Secondary Schools Championship. That's all it's still to come on Sky.